Hello and welcome. In the previous video, we talked about the um, the transport control protocol or the fourth layer of the OSI model. In this video, we will talk about the uh, network layer and its protocols, mainly the ARP and ICMP. The ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol and it's used in the network to translate IP addresses to MAC addresses. So we have PC1 and PC2 that represent a local communication means on the same network or subnet. And we have another scenario which um, the server is located on different subnet than PC1. So what happens if PC1 want to communicate with PC2? So the first thing we does is the ARP. Okay, to resolve the MAC address of PC2. So let's give them uh, some IP address in here, okay? So let's say PC1 have the IP address of... I'm gonna grab my pen here. K2 okay, and here we go and... Okay, so... Let's say the uh, PC1 have... Okay... Have the 192, 168... Let's say 192... 168.1.1 PC2 will have 192.168.8.1.2 okay? and the interface of the router which is the default gateway will have 192.168.1.1 uh, along with um, the subnet mask, okay, that allows the hosts to distinguish and compare if they are located on the same subnet or not. Okay, let's use the mask of 255, 255, 255, 0. So all the bits that are turned on means have the 255 okay in each octet they are they represent the network id this is the network right and this is g host the left eight bits that are left here they represent the host so when can one pc1 want to communicate to pc2 the first thing it does it would compare its ip address to the ip address of pc2 so 255 means they need to match in order to um, to check if the host two located on the same network. So we have 192, 192, 168, 168, 1 and 1. And that's the end of the network portion. So PC1 at this point realizes that PC2 resides on the same network. So it will send the ARP okay which is a broadcast message that are sent to all the stations on the local network okay and the broadcast is sent to the mac address of f f f f okay f f f and that's how to write the uh, mac address at least the cisco writing right microsoft differ a little bit includes the colon between h2 uh, hexade hexadecimal digits so that's the broadcast MAC address okay with the destination IP of PC2 then all the hosts will get the message but they will drop the message because it's not intended for them but PC2 will seize its IP address as the destination so it will respond with its MAC address okay think of the ARP like walking to a classroom and saying hello who has the IP of um, 192.168.1.2 can I get you my address and the corresponding um, one will respond to with its MAC uh, address that's for the uh, local communication for the remote communication Let's say PC1 want to communicate with 
the server. Okay, so uh, as we mentioned earlier, PC1 will compare its IP address with the IP address of server uh, of the server, right? So let's say um, the server has the IP address of 100.1.1.1. Okay, so we have a subnet mask, class C subnet mask, which have a 24 bits on the network portion or network ID, okay? So the first thing we compare the first 8 bits, okay, 192 and 100, which are different. Then PC1 will realize that the server is located on different network. In this case, the ARP is sent to all the station as, as usual, but this time the destination will be the router one, the default gateway, right? The destination address will be 192.168.1.1, let's say three, because the uh, IP address dot one is already taken by PC2. So the ARP is sent to all the stations with um, the uh, the MAC address, the broadcast MAC address of all Fs and the destination IP of uh, 192.168.1.3 to the router. The router will respond to the uh, to PC2 with its MAC address because it will see its IP as the destination in the uh, in the frame. Okay, and that's what happened in um, local communication using the R protocol and with a remote in a remote. Uh, scenario if PC1 want to contact some other host that is not located on the same network. That's all for the app. Uh, next we want to check the um, um, want to see or look at the ICMP protocol. Okay, so the ICMP protocol stands for Internet Control Message protocol, right? And uh, it's used by the ping, okay? It's used by the ping. Let's say the ping, okay, the ping. And the trace route. Trace route in Linux and tracer T in Windows. Tracer T in Windows, okay? The ping is an application that check a network reachability. Let's say PC1 want to see if it can reach the server. Then you just bring a command line and our terminal from PC1 and ping the server 1. If you get a reply from server 1, which means that the server is alive and it's on, so it's reachable. But if you didn't get, if you get other messages than that, you would know that there is problem reaching the server one. Okay, let's uh, check an example here. In fact, we'll bring the uh, okay CMD and then. Okay. Here we go. So here is the CMD. We can, let's say we want to ping um, dot, 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 google.com, okay, to check if we can reach the Google server. And as you can see, we have a reply from Google server, which has the IP address 
okay, of 172, 217, 21, 164, uh, and it's sending 32 bytes in each packet, and this is the time in milliseconds that takes for the packet to hit the server and come back, and there is TTL, which is time to leave to prevent loop in the network. We'll talk about the loop when we arrive to spanning tree later in the series. And we have also the other information. There are four packets sent and four received from the server. And there is no packet loss at all, which means the server is reachable and is alive. Okay. Now let's do tracer t. Tracer t to dot 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 google dot com. Okay. The tracer route checks the path all the way, hop by hop. I mean by the hop is the routers or the uh, firewalls on the way. So this is the first hop. Second one, as you can see here, we have the star, which means the uh, firewall denies the ICMP um, requests. Uh, some companies and some organizations, they don't allow the ICMP uh, requests for um, security purposes. And it will go all the way um, till it will arrive the, uh, the Google server. And when, whenever it stops means that there is a problem in, the, um, in this point, you know, that, uh, I mean, uh, you could, for example, if you are pinging from server 1, from PC1 and pinging the R2, then the tracer route, okay, will stop at the router 1. Then you will uh, isolate or escalate the problem between router 1 and router 2. Then you will start troubleshooting. Ping and tracer routes are uh, so useful um, troubleshooting tools that uh, you need to know as the network administrator. So I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you.